We talked about querying arrays a lot. But let's finally talk about operator called element match. This operator is very useful and is very commonly used for querying arrays. And it is used not just to read some documents, but also to update specific documents of the array. Ok, how it works? Element match operator looks for documents that have an array with an embedded documents and at least one embedded document must match all conditions specified after element match. And you add them without any square brackets, just in curly braces separated by implicit AND or comma. Let's look at an examples. First example. Friends, it's an array. Element match and in curly braces name Bob and registered false. We will look at friends array, scan all its nested documents and if in one of them name will be Bob and registered will be false, this document will match. Next example. Registered false and age 25. Please note that those subdocuments of the friends array may have other fields except those specified in the query. In the second example, this subdocument may have name, age, and registered fields. But we ask just for registered to match false and age to match 25. And if there is a match, document will match the query. Ok, let's look at this in action. Remember that we have one document with a friends array that has three nested documents. If you have not loaded this document, please go to previous lesson and download attached file to it and just insert one document into the first collection. Ok, let's perform element match query. Just start query from the name of the array friends column, then curly braces, then dollar sign lm match column, then curly braces. Inside curly braces you need to put several conditions separated by comma. So let's put name Laura, comma, age 23 and that's it. And run this query, command enter. And we get this document in the results. It means that this nested document matched. Let's replace H23 with an H25. You see that H25 is here in the second document. And let's execute this query. Now no matches. Because name Laura is located in one subdocument and H25 is located in another subdocument. That's why LM match didn't find match. Ok, let's go back to H23. Command enter. Let's change order of the conditions here. So just move H23 to the beginning and then name Laura. Command enter. Same result. Document matched. It means that order of those conditions doesn't matter. Let's add one more condition here. Comma, enter, registered. True, command enter. And again, this document is returned. Because we matched all three fields in this nested document. If we change registered to false, then we got nothing. Let's go back to true. Ok, now I think idea of this element match is clear. And again, this operator is very useful and it helps to find specific nested document of the array. So that's it for arrays and let's go on and talk about other operators such as exists and type. See you shortly.